Hello everybody. Vlogtober continues. It is Monday. It's a little bit later than I would normally start. It's almost five. Um, but uh, right after work I had some errands I had to run and take care of. So I did that because we are under contract with our new house and we're just finalizing those couple things that you have to do to get the ball rolling. But all my advent calendars are here for Vlogmas and I thought I'd share them with you. Also, you're gonna hear our lawn people doing our grass right now, but just bear with the noise. I think I already shared this, but I did the Joe Malone 12 days. I did the 12 days because the sample sizes are a little bit better in the 12 day. So I did that 12 day. This was a random Instagram purchase. It is the Taylor Swift Eras Tour advent calendar. I think in each of these boxes is Taylor in a different era. I do not have a link for it, but I will link the others. Then if you remember a couple vlogmases ago, we had so much fun with a nativity advent calendar and they're sometimes hard to find, but Mary Mary does amazing high quality advent calendars. I went ahead and purchased theirs just because they are so nice and so well made um, that I decided to purchase that. And of course we have to have a Sugarfina advent calendar. And this one is a little gingerbread house. So we have four advent calendars for Vlogmas 2024. I cannot wait, super excited. This Vlogmas is going to be so special. Here's the deal with Vlogmas though. You're probably going to see us go to the new house a handful of times. You're also going to experience me like planning the whole process. But we are not going to move super quickly. We close on our house at the end of December because we asked that we can get through the holiday season and luckily they were really awesome. And then probably the last week of December into January, um, we will gradually make the move. I just, we have no rush, so I wanna just do it slow and meticulous and I can't believe it. <laughs> Steven and I were texting today because I'm picking out some wallpaper samples. I have a bunch of fabric swatches coming because we're buying a lot of new furniture for the space. Uh, and yeah, I am so excited to make this like our forever home. And I'm asking Steven's feedback on everything. So I told him I'm going to make a collection of like mood boards and I really want him to decide what he likes, what he doesn't like, and just make this a perfect combination of all of our homes together and make this one really special. I think you guys are gonna love it. And I honestly thought briefly around this idea of um, us getting cr to create this community and build this community and continue to connect and, blah, 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 and continue to connect in this home because it just feels, it just feels so right I can only say that I, the last time I probably felt like this was our New York house. Steven and I walked into that house and before we ever went upstairs, looked at each other and said, this is the one. And we both felt that with this house. We looked at each other and it's just so good. <laughs> and there's spaces to garden and all these things. And it is meticulously beautiful. However, there's still like these opportunities to really personalize it. So just super excited. I also went to my PO box. You guys were asking me to get a new PO box set up in Charlotte. I did. The address is down below, but I received my first mail in the new PO box. Wishing you and your family a cozy, colorful fall season filled with joy and lots of warmth, your friend from Kentucky, Joy. Oh, she did all these stickers. That's so cute. Just so you know, all of these years of this content, I still have every card that has ever been sent in a box. I particularly really love 
uh, homemade cards. Like, the talent is insane. Like, look at this Halloween card that was made with googly eyes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, she shared a really good idea. The way I showed small businesses in New York, if I could do that in the hard hit areas of North Carolina, that actually is really great idea. Um, I'm actually probably making a trip to Western North Carolina next week. Actually, I was just texting with two friends about it. Oh, she has family in the Lake Lore um, area, which was also hit really hard. I also appreciate that Stacy wrote the card out to Christopher, Stephen, and Mabel. I wanted to wish you all a happy Halloween. I often hand make cards and watch your channel. I was so sorry to hear about Bubba's passing. I'm happy you're happier in North Carolina and have set up your lives to be near your family and friends. It is the best thing we've ever done. Love the weekly clothing rack. Brilliant. Keep up the great vlogs. You're an amazing human. There was a comment that was like, how do you deal with like the nonsense of people? And I think what I would always remind people, just, not even if you're a content creator, but just in life in general, for every off comment, there are 30 to 50 to 100 amazing comments. And I think we often choose to perseverate on that one negative one. And I have just chosen to live in the moment and enjoy all the positive ones because they are just, they so outweigh it. And I think that's hard to do, but I think this new place that I've gotten to, like, I'm okay if you don't like me because I'm so happy and content in my own life and with my family and with my friends that their opinion of me is what matters the most. And I know they're proud of me and I know that they see me for who I am and the majority of you do as well. So I think that this new chapter of life and all the work I've done on myself and I, I just am far more unbothered by people than I've ever been. And I am someone who was extremely bothered by everyone's opinion. And I think now my whole perspective has changed in so many ways. I often come to this realization. I used to spend every single day talking so negatively to myself. I I would say awful things and think awful things and beat myself up nonstop. And I honestly cannot remember the last time I have spoken to myself negatively. It just doesn't happen. And it makes me realize as your environment changes and you let go of past relationships that maybe didn't serve you as well or make you feel good about yourself, that the environment you're in directly impacts everything and every aspect of your life. I still have wonderful people in my life from New York. They will be in my life th for the rest of my life. I literally was talking <clears throat> to several of them over the weekend, checking in, talking about work, talking about things going on in our life, talking about our holiday plans. Like those people are still all there, but they're additive. And I really, as I embarked on new relationships here, I was very guarded of who I would let in and who I wouldn't. And I've kept some real clear boundaries with some relationships here as they've newly formed. And then there are a small group that have just become my people. I have made, I say five really, really close friends. And I think that is something that in your forties, you don't get to experience very often and it's harder to make new friends. I also think the difference is I moved back to where I had some real deep-rooted friendships already. And I know they're deep-rooted because the instant we were together, it was like we never were apart. So I have found that being surrounded by my family and a core group of friends that just want you to be your happiest. I have never seen people celebrate one another genuinely celebrate one another, not for a performative act or because it's the right thing to do. Genuinely be happy and excited 
for each other. I have felt more supported and more loved and more cared for and more seen and valued than I ever have in my life. And it has trickled down into the son I am, the leader I am, the brother I am, the uncle I am, the husband I am, the friend that I am. It has made me better in every aspect of my life. I truly believe that this has become the best chapter in my short life. And I'm blessed to have many, but this is by far the best. With my relationships, with my marriage, with my career, with my family, with my friends, I just feel like every day I'm living again. And I wake up excited and not exhausted and I stay up later and do things. I was making plans today for another dinner with a group of friends and I was looking at my calendar and for the first time I was like, well, I actually am not free for a while because I have so many plans. Uh, I think that's the other thing that really excites us about our next house and that next chapter is because it's a very active and engaged community that really thrives on being social and doing things together and celebrating. They have food truck parties and all sorts of amazing things. I'm actually kind of bummed we won't be there for Halloween because they have so much going on because I'm already on the Homeowners Association uh, Facebook page. However, it's just a whole different life for me. And it's one that I didn't expect or really anticipate or think that would be possible in my 40s. Because as we know, as you get older, it is harder to make friends and find places and readjust. But this one has just been so easy. So easy. I showed you the advent calendars. Thank you so much, Stacy and Joy, for the cards. And yeah, Stephen will be coming home probably around 5.30ish. Maybe we'll take Mabel for a walk in the neighborhood. Stephen said he found some other like walking paths that he wanted to go look at. So maybe we'll do that tonight and just check on the house. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be an easy breezy evening. The best kind. I went to put down the camera and then immediately picked it up because I would think then uh, after sharing that for all of you and so many of you have mentioned it that you feel stuck in this toxic environment or feel stuck and know a change needs to happen and what would my advice be? I, I will never, ever, ever, ever take for granted the situation that Stephen and I were in to do this financially um, with our family time-wise, the fact that we don't have children and that level of commitment, just know that like that is never lost on me. And I don't flippantly, flippantly say this, but no matter what the circumstance, if you feel like a space and relationships and people and all of those things are no longer serving you, you owe it to yourself to take a leap. I also truly, truly believe that this journey for us has been so blessed and God definitely had his hand in making every opportunity come to us. And I think when you have complete faith that he is going to make everything work out. There was a moment where I thought um, our house wasn't going to work out, the dream house. And I was on the couch. Stephen could tell I had reserved. And I literally just said to myself, I surrender it all. Like whatever is meant to be and whatever, wherever you think we should end up, we will end up. I'm so sorry for the lawn. Um, and then the next morning we were under contract. I have found that the more release I have given and more blind faith that I've put into him that it will all work out, it has. But what I would say is the leap is so scary, but I truly believe if you leap out of something no longer aligning with your spirit, your soul, all of those pieces, that it everything always works out because you're working in an alignment with yourself and your values. I couldn't live another day there. I couldn't. And it was scary to leave. Yes, our circumstance was very different. And as I said, I don't take that for granted, but I was scared to leave. And 
to see how everything opened up and has fallen into place for us. I think I used to say that I regretted not doing it sooner. I think it happened in the time in which it all had to happen. And I don't regret it. I don't regret that we didn't do it sooner because I think God made us experience what we experienced for a reason because Stephen and I've come out on the other side of this, such a better couple, happier, have made strides for ourselves personally and professionally. And it had to happen the way it had to happen. And it was instead of too late or wish it was sooner, I think it was all in perfect timing. So I would say if something no longer feels like it is aligned with your values, your spirit, your soul, all parts of you, that is every sign that it is time. And when you're at that place where like it's hard to go another day or you feel so burnt out, and I truly now realize what burnout feels like, I used to think that word would be tossed around, but I truly know what it feels like now. When you feel that and that little tug in your gut that says like you've stayed too long at the party, you got to take the leap and trust that it'll all work out because I truly think when you're doing things that are in alignment with who you are, it always does. Blind faith. It's scary, but it's kind of incredible. And in fact, I know this vlog is a small section of my day, but I can't imagine recording anything else. So take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye, friends.